Okay, so how I do my ridge line is on the far end, I use a Siberian hitch, which I'm not going to show you because there's plenty of videos on the, on uh, YouTube showing you how to do that. Um, but on this end, um, I use I use a knot that I learned from Dave Canterbury um, with a slight modification that seems to work a little better for me to get it to um, to get it to stay tight. So uh, what I do is I take my rope around the tree. Bring it over, tighten it up, bring it over the tree again, over the top again, tighten it up so that makes my rope, starts me right off with it being nice and taut. And what I'll do in a minute here is I'll show a close up of this but um, let you see what I'm doing here um, is I take I didn't leave myself enough rope here. Hold on one sec. So I take and I create a loop by twisting it. I bring the loop over and then the top here that's on the top coming over the top of the main rope. I bring that over the rope two times, and that's where it's different than Dave Canterbury's. He brings it over one time, I bring it over twice, like that. That creates this loop down here. I take this part of the rope and I just snug it up then. Snug it up tight, and what that makes is a form of a modified Prusik knot that you can now make very tight. So I've already gone around the tree and pulled my thing tight. So now what I want to do is go over the rope, grab, do a twist, so you end up with a loop like this. Then I usually just try to hold it for a minute there with my thumb so I can get a hold of the top of the loop over the rope two times then I pull this in through and pull it tight. 